You are watching an Acronology. Let's get into our first uh, a category and let's talk about it. Uh, it is going to be uh, advertising. Let me uh, let me pull up the old advertising. Yeah, I mean, I guess really advertising in that time. I mean, it was print ad and television because there was no internet. Was you know any kind of uh, no dominant short form in that period. Yeah, no short form TikTok, no short form, you know, Instagram reel, nothing like that. Um, I mean, I feel like the heyday of TV commercials for you name it, right? Like it was the 80s and 90s. I feel like there was, I mean, Christ, I shouldn't be saying that. I mean, there's been advertising for as long as there's been a medium to which to promote something. But I mean, you're coming off the or with the creation of having some somewhat decent like, com well, shit, it's the 80s. So there really isn't computer graphics, man. I'm fucking <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, you know, actually having advancements in uh, technology to help, you know, sell some shit. But I can see a bunch of advertisements at the back of comic books uh, for like Nintendo's. Here we go. For, like Game Boy, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I, mean, it was, I feel like it was there's very limited. I feel like there's iconic commercials though there has to be like some iconic commercials from the 80s they're like you know a great poupon commercial fucking coca-cola oh, yeah. i think that's i think that's where we're hitting it right now and it, from what i see here it looks like uh it looks like ai producer has hooked us up here with a with a pretty hefty playlist of commercials so let me pop those up and we're going to take a look and have a little commentary on like, like you're saying some of the classic commercials of that time which again um were pretty damn memorable and that's how you had that's the, all you had to hook people was just getting them in between breaks on their on their freaking soap operas i remember just sitting with my grandma you know and just uh watching her stories and then all of a sudden you'd be you know entertained by some kind of freaking commercial here or there and you'd only get like if one commercial hit like they would rerun that commercial all the time like for like i mean like over the course of years like it wouldn't be like they would like stick with it you know what i mean like they wouldn't reinvent the wheel or they wouldn't get oh, uh, a new every six months or anything a new campaign you would just get the same commercial fucking years years in a row They're like this works <laughs> run it run it again run it again jam it down their throats until they buy this shit that's all you would get you would get nothing more than that let me uh Frank, that's a little larger. All right, let's check out a, let's check out some some of the flavor of commercials and during that time, see if it uh, takes us down memory lane. Kelvin Klein jeans. There you a commercial for jeans. I mean, is this? I don't even know. Oh, Levi's. It's okay. Are you getting any sound on yours? Can you not? Can ah, you hear yours? I cannot hear the commercial at all. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Let me try to turn this part up here. Wrigley's fuck a computer eating gum. Okay, let's no epoch traverser. That's for damn sure. There's the computer graphics I'm talking about. There we go. See, I knew they look something. so bad. But you know what? Even that was sophisticated. That is so super sophisticated for 1988. Man, this is Jacob's Ladder. Jesus Christ. Freaking Job. That guy. That was his big break. This Wrigley's commercial. It's amazing to me that even back then, like uh, th to take out a full whatever that was, 30 second, 20, 20 second ad for chewing gum. Chewing gum was was so big at that time that they had that kind of money that they could <laughs> yeah, rock right. stuff like that. Looks like, like, that's looks like a summer quarter budget. What else is there? Yeah, I'm, I'm still getting no sound out of it. It's really weird. Yeah, I wonder why. Let's see. Ooh, maxi thins. Okay, now we're maybe some setting here. Let's see. That's See, maxi thins spent all their budget on oh, marketing. Oh, of... maxi thins! What is a ma Oh, there we. They, they are full. They are thin, full protection pads. I don't think they. I don't think they make maxi <laughs> thins anymore. <laughs> I think see. they spent all their money on this advertising budget. Oh wow, that's a heavy flow well, day this, right there. I mean, this is this is the like you can't really reinvent the wheel when you're showing that kind of flow. I mean, there, every there was always the blue <laughs> liquid going on the cotton. Man, she was happy. He wasn't squirting all over in that airplane seat. 
Looks like a freaking crime scene on there. Do you remember the the the, the majesty of going and getting your picture at Sears as a kid? Oh, this was exactly I, it. I don't think we ever. I don't think we ever oh. went to did the uh, the photo at Sears. I don't think we ever did the. Uh, oh. I don't think my family. Let, I don't think we cared that much about each other. <laughs> Mine did. Yeah, this was the tragedy. Actually, that picture, like with the little boy, and he's like got his like hands up on that like gross rug. I have I have a photo of me just like that, and just that's like what's that. terrifying. It's a total. Uh, it's a total like uh, quasi Sears portrait studio look. The, the communal rug. So, <laughs> so sixty ninety five. What a time to be alive! Hey, so Clorox. Like Thirty photos, dude. Geez, they haven't called, like this. They, they haven't changed this Clorox package at all. Bottle. At all. I mean, if it's it. bleach. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I could finally clean up after my husband's dead body. God, man, what a weird time. It's almost just like it's a... Uh... Oh, I remember this guy. He was, he's always been around. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, but he's like, yeah. So, he was like stop motion or something. What are they selling here? Good times? Memories? Okay, grapes. Redheaded stepchild. Is this Fruit of Loom underwear? No, it's just great. Really? Just a commercial for grapes? Uh, it was a literal commercial for grapes. <laughs> great. <laughs> grapes need help? <laughs> Great. Who's the great? Who's the where's the grape lobby? How do they have money for a fucking commercial <laughs> about fruit lobby? Dude, I gotta say, why are there so many women feminine product uh, commercials? Look at this one. Well, there's a lot of bleeding going around here, buddy. Security tampons. Okay. Like, well, she's excited about her security tampon. What is it? Security. Yeah. It's a, and it, what are they? Yeah, come, are those flavors of Kotex? What, what, why are there two different uh, colored versions? I mean, I mean, I would think that like your, your, you, your, your tampons should be like secure no matter what. The fact you have to like beef oh God, up security. One. What is this? Gas sex? Gross. So, this, this is creepy. See now, gas this stuff is still on the shelves. See, like this yeah, stuff's on the shelves. I don't remember. Always. I don't remember the last time I saw a gas X commercial in the past twenty years. Nice. And then here's stems. We got stems and legs. This is for Fruit of the Loom. No, this is for skin cream. This must be for uh, so, like uh, a razor. Um, oh, that's okay. Like so the, it's shaving cream. You, you would put on, and it would actually like it's like acidic. Oh, it's like Nair. It looks like Nair. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So it's just yeah, chemicals to melt off your oh, hair. I know, and like you tell me now that that was good. I don't think that was that wasn't no, very good. I, there must have some. They must be like, don't put this on your hoo ha. Be some chemicals. Oh. oh, Grandpa Munster. Is that who that was? Yeah, it was Grandpa Munster. Oh, hold on. Oh my God, it was Grandpa Munster. He looks very yeah, old he, and sad. He needed, a, he needed a check. And then this guy. Oh, isn't that know. Maxwell Smart? We, get smart no that is oh my god yeah you're right that is holy crap dude what the heck dude, i don't think that guy's alive either i guess mcdonald's just didn't hold back oh and that was uh i mean it seems to be like was, was, Clamp, was, it, was yeah, that the guy that from um Clampet. the clampet yeah jed clampet the hill the beverly hillbillies dude 89, 89 cents. Cent for a, i mean what's a mcdonald's hamburger nowadays i don't i don't even have a dollar menu no more so i don't even know I mean, I've, I don't. I haven't been to McDonald's in forever, so I couldn't even tell you. I know it's probably not no eighty nine cents. Oh, that's what's her name? That's uh, what the hell is she from? That was the wife from something. Yeah, I'm. She's I'm seeing like, the trends here. It's getting all like sit down people. Yeah, just, just, it's just really strange. Just, so these are fast food. Oh shit! I, mean, I still don't think we've done enough for the women's hygiene uh, products. We should get more of those. Oh, Blockbuster. Okay, this guy, that guy looks 80s as fuck. Look at that shirt. Oh my god. Look at those stripes and colors. Man, Blockbuster was an institution. Pink, though, pink and blue is pink was big in the Quite 80s. Like there was a lot of stuff, a lot of fluorescent, a lot of pink in the 80s. I agree. Yeah, making, definitely. I mean, and this guy, like you could tell he was the uh the hero for the for the episode. Everyone else yeah. or the commercial shoot, they got like light color, light color, light color. They're like, what do we have that's gaudy as hell? So I can really yeah. make this guy stand out. Let's yeah, Give let's me, put him in a Pepto Bismol pink shirt. Pink. <laughs> Give me that cotton candy pink shirt that no self-respecting man would wear. Oh, the ice mullet on that guy. I saw that. Let's go back. Can I catch that mullet? That was quite a mullet. That was impressive. 
yeah, that's an '80s mullet. Like that's that's a mullet. There, he has a Let's he find it. Let me squeeze on that on '80s that. mullet. There you go. She's Let's happy. Her parents get out of here, dude. Here he comes. Right. There look at it that. is. That's look a, at the, look at that. The majesty on that mullet. That's an '80s mullet right there, brother. He's like, is there an adult section here? <laughs> <laughs> oh look at the uh what do you call those things that would hold the sunglasses that's another 80s i know exactly movie. yeah that's huge huge in the 80s you don't want your shades falling off your head all right wow wow yeah look at the text what a difference blockbuster video makes <sighs> if they only just bought if they only just bought into netflix, bought netflix they were trying to sell right? it to them god guys you guys screwed up yep. You really dropped Shut. the ball. Wow, we dropped the fucking ball. We're bankrupt. Wow. <laughs> People are lazy. They don't want to come out to video stores anymore. Let me see what other kind of fun stuff is I can hear. Oh, what's that? We got something Radio see. Shack. Mr. Guy. What's the creepy thing? It's the Micro Machine Man. Ooh. McCain. Ooh, it's Artie Boone. Oh, that looks doing? good, man. Got fucking a little midnight snack. He's gonna get in trouble. Uh oh, that was for tomorrow. The the missus ain't gonna be happy. You no, sneaky I guess. fucker. Man, I thought there was gonna be a little like that. All that dude was doing was like eating a cake at night. I thought there was gonna be like a little more writing to that commercial. Like he was all I sneaking thought, like, down. Wife was gonna catch him or something. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I gotta say, super lazy. Mm, that dude was eating the shit out of that pizza. Yeah, did it just go from the Special Olympics to the fucking? Pro Bowl? Mm. Pizza Hut making the Special Olympics great. See if there's any other notable. Man, these are, this is some flashback shit though. Solo. I don't think that Let's exists see. anymore. Who's that guy? I don't know. Let's see. It's like looking like Robert Stack and shit. Let's see. Team Dodge is a car commercial for your tri state area Dodge. Well, this, hey, this, is, like this, this is throwing some serious unsolved mystery vibes at me right oh, yeah. here. It's like in trench coat. Yeah, the fog, the lamp. Look at that What jacket. is going on? <laughs> yeah, what is going on? What is going on? Who is? What is he selling? Uh, it's he was saying he's a weatherman, so it's like some kind. Oh, of, okay. It seems like some yeah, kind sorry. of. I already get the vibe. This is like a local New York affiliate or something. And that's what we, okay. growing up in the Northeast. Uh, we had to deal with that shit all the time. Here's a terrible car commercial. Is that a Toyota? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, it looks like a freaking weird DeLorean, but it's not. Gross, DeLorean it looks weird. Oh, hey, it's so, not. Uh, that car still runs to this day. Over 150 in stock? What? Don't do that. Man, look at how just cookie cutter all those things are. Dang. Yeah, those probably do still run like a mother. 1988. Missions are probably terrible. There's no freaking air conditioning in them. No power or anything. Let's see what else he's got for us I wonder how much a base model of that car is, though. Probably, probably what, five grand for one of them? Oh, shit. Here, Sprouse was Remington Steel? Yeah. He was was not Remington Steel at this time. This is his Bond audition here. Look at this shit. Whoa, a Sony Watchman with the screen that's this big and freaking gray. Dang, you Irish devil make hair attitude with this guy. Diet Coke sweepstakes he was a great bond for the time he was around. He's the Ooh, bond sexy. we needed in the 90s. So, this is maybe it's Maybelline. Is that Crawford? Is it, my girl, uh, there's the mole. You can't oh, yeah. not distinguish that mole. Revlon, that mole heard around the world. Oh, oh, Sybil Shepherd said Sybil Shepherd. You nailed it. And she was in uh, that show with the Bruce Willis. Uh, Moonlighting. Yeah, she's very attractive. And she's got she's, she's selling hair yeah. care. Better than selling Kotex security tampons, I guess. What is yes! this guy? Yeah, he was pumped that he got that. Oh, to join the military. Uh, so this is how we got people to join the military back then. Yeah, the, see now what they're showing a bunch of people who aren't like poor. That's the problem. Like, they're, you need like this demographic. You need to show some people like from blow them out of the water. Not, not the best, you know, not the best circumstances. Getting better lives. This guy's just like he's like hugging his dad inside of a fucking airport terminal. It's like 
people who've joined the military haven't been on a plane before. We're going to miss you, son. We're so proud of you. What else we got? Round off here. Anything good for us? Oh, what a what a collection of hits. The I hit mean, makers. Oh, this one looks really creepy. Let's watch this Disney one. This is a f- feminine product, it looks like. Chic. What the hell? Oh, it's like a That's nightlight. Creepy. Yeah. Ugh. Come to life. Little Disney babies. Just See, now this is in the public domain. Just them through the fucking roof. Well, I Go mean, to bed! They certainly, <laughs> yeah, right, goofy. <laughs> You're adopted. <laughs> oh, hold your dreams. <laughs> you ever seen the movie oh, Cat's Eye? I'm gonna steal your breath. Cat's Eye. Oh man, you're gonna, be a, you did. you're gonna be a statistic. You're gonna be a suit oh, baby. with you. Age well here. Oh, hey, Jane, Jane Seymour? Seymour. Wow, Jane Dang. Seymour. She's she looking good. Dude, yeah. The English broad, huh? Oof. Jardin de Max Factor. Oof. I was saying, this didn't age well. Was, I mean, they should have got her to push the Kotex. Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. what are you doing? Can you imagine mm-hmm. the pictures Bill Cosby would have in yeah. his personal collection? I'll We're just need you to on TV. these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, whoever was at the fucking photo counter, like, I think this is Bill Cosby's cock. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of photos of him with his cock on girls who look like they're passed out faces. Oh my god, just give them back to him. Don't worry, he's a, he's a national treasure. Listen, he is here like carpet. every week. <laughs> Listen, yeah. he's, he's got me the amount of photos he's developed here has got me a met my bonus 10 times over. Why do you think I'm driving that convertible? That Sonata <laughs> that I just got from Tri State from Dodge dealership in this car right here. You know, this is so Xerox Zero- machine with color, so you know that's pricey. Freaking boring ad. I could take the hatch back. This come on. Ooh, I wanted to get some. One. Oh baby, you yeah. got cheddar bay biscuits. You got some cheddar bay biscuits. Yum. So if if a uh, hamburger was eighty nine cents from McDonald's, what is this? Eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Maybe, yeah, eight, eight, nine, 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 nine. under $15 for this feast. It's got to be. It's got to be, right? So wow. $7.95. Nailed it. Dude, $1.95. Dude, $1.95 for a kid's platter. That's out of control, dude. $4 for crab legs. Ooh. Whoa. Dropping trowel in this. What is going oh, remember on these, here? Like, remember these, like, sultry, sexy, like, like 11 o'clock movies on TV that only your parents could watch? Robert Urich. Okay, Robert Urich. He's take. He's isn't that the mom from? Uh, she knows too much. She was the mom on some sitcom. No, oh, here we go. We got oh Matlock. Matlock. <laughs> Dude, if this was an eighty-eight, where's wasn't he still going strong in like the nineties? Wasn't like he's still on? Yeah, and he's like oh, ancient he was hot. night. Oh, look at that! Was the lineup? What else Damn. we got? The high drama. Oh, this was like a, a NyQuil or something sick medicine. Oh, this is for a divorce attorney. No, I just I'm trying to sleep. Go sleep on the couch. No. What do you gotta do tomorrow? I gotta go to work. This is the 80s. You do nothing. Oof, look at the green NyQuil color. It was has it always been is it still green? I don't think I've taken NyQuil. Yeah, uh, no, there's there's the red one, and uh, I think the green was the the starting flavor though, because it's like it was like minty. I think that was a, that was the starting Nyquil, and then <laughs> probably ten years later they got cherry. Whoa, nice, nice stash, oh, nice haircut. Mysteries, hell's yeah. Race car star gun down. But is this <laughs> okay? There's no stack. You don't hit me with the oh, stack at McDonald's. You oh my god, look at the uniforms of. Remember the Mick DLT? I remember. I remember like the what was it called like the Big Arch or something like the Arch Burger. I don't remember the D- DLT. I mean, how can you go wrong with Big Breakfast? Though I mean, McDonald's Big Breakfast. This, that's a creepy eighties esque McDonald's commercial. Creeping me out, and then all the movie previews, dude. This is insane. It's a Quaker Oats guy. Let's see what else. We'll, we'll do one more here. Rider, uh, so the writer so now. So I was over. Uh, I was over watching uh, football. So when there was commercials on for his football, the 
it's like I didn't see uh, a commercial for grapes. <laughs> I didn't see a commercial for yeah, a feminine yeah, product. Grapes one blew my uh, mind. I I didn't when see a commercial for commercials in the freaking. Dude, 80s, I don't even think 80s. I saw. A, I don't even think I saw a commercial for like a TV show in between, you know, whatever, like the, the football timeouts or whatever. Like it was all like insurance companies, um, you know, probably like a fucking phone or like a, or, a, or, a, or a cellular network. Um, I'm trying to think a car. Definitely. That's probably been the, the same thing, like uh, car advertisements on in 1988 and like car okay. advertisements now. But like a bunch of these like whatever we've been seeing here that they've been showcasing, I don't really think that's. Like they, this, this kind of advertising doesn't exist now. Doesn't at least not in that. Because they're just they're they're just banner ads on websites now. Like they they there like big companies have shrunk their advertising budgets down to just the most viewable, clickable, click through advertisement. That's just so bad. You're right. It, it's it's actually it's the the end of an era. Like this is the only this was the only way to attract potential new clients and business was just blasting these. Ter- I mean and. Look at this. The, these reels on here are like 20 minutes a piece. I mean, you talk about you'd think if you watched TV back then, I mean, how often would they cut to commercial every five minutes? If that. Yeah, five, six minutes. Yeah, it's like every minutes, a, a half hour. Minutes. It's like three yeah. minutes of commercials, maybe two minutes. But I mean, there's commercials for everything. I mean, g- grapes. Fucking, I don't even know what we're, we're watching on here. It was like some deodorant, but it was like a deodorant this doesn't exist crazy. anymore. This is crazy. AI producer, you've outdone yourself here. You found some really creepy shit. What's this one? I Watch mean, one more. I mean, I know that like he wasn't a uh, movie star, oh, but I mean, what is, what is this sell? Is this French Shannon Doherty? What is she giving him? Butter. Uh, this is butter. butter. It's for butter. butter. I can't oh shit! Butter. Only the greatest butter of its time. Yeah, so, you can't. You so couldn't margarine. even believe it was butter. So margarine. They're gonna bang. Oh, he's that gonna, margarine he's gonna, turned gonna, them on. Yeah, mm. he buttered. He buttered up his buttered up he's her muffin. Butter, some other other biscuits here. That's very sexual, he, right? Like I. There's a lot of no commercials in, in those '80s commercials, dog. Well, they were all coke fueled. Still, it's something nice. Got that nice Florida Miami coco coming up. <laughs> Everybody's just like, "All right, how can we put it? How can we make them sexy? How can we make the? How can we make butter sexy? All right, all right. Well, it's on a train, and then he misses the train, uh, but then he, but then, yeah, then he, then he, then he gets on the train with her, and we, they're gonna fuck. You know, they're gonna. Fuck. But it's implied. It's implied. Okay, it's implied. Listen, just, just yeah, just it was a, it was quite a time. It was quite a time to be alive. It's very strange. I can't believe it's not uh, adultery. Okay. <laughs> So I guess a little glance into that uh, that time portal of commercials and advertising. I mean, as as things change, the more they stay the same. Like there is still commercials, obviously, in between. Like I said, I was watching football the other day or last night, and uh, you know the commercials that were on, but none of the same. Not, dude, I didn't see no commercial for fucking grapes yesterday. Like they they could just put a commercial for anything. First, that's a first grape commercials. That's really strange. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say I would say that's uh, that's you're not going to see fruit. You're not going to see any of that stuff anymore. You're just going to see fruit in the grocery store sure. where it belongs. Um, all right. Well, that's pretty much category one advertising down. Let's take a little break and talk to some of our sponsors, uh, see what they've got to say. Some of our unfortunately, grapes is not sponsoring this episode. Yeah. of Anachronology. Maybe we'll look really at, Hopefully we'll. We'll put out some feelers for the next episode. Hopefully, we can get grapes. <laughs> yeah, right. They're a tough sponsor to grab. But uh, hang tight. We'll be right back with some more Anachronology. 